somebody now? <laughs> okay, so get his shoulder in it. Okay. Just move these if you need to. Are you watching another little... We'll shoot this whole way first and then turn around again. Ryan, what's going on? Uh, we're at the Glenview Cottages right now. Is that correct? Glenview, yeah. Day Glenview, one. Glenview, and it's day one. Uh, sirens. It's going to be real interesting tonight because we haven't met the sirens. It's a little bit of chaos to get them here. But we have Seagird. Seagird. Yeah, Seagird's here. Right. The whole crew's here. Show them all. Show these beautiful faces. Yeah, look at the reviews online after we both yeah. like play Now, like I said, can't hear me probably right now. I'll raise my voice. Sirens, we don't know what's gonna happen today. It's like pulling teeth to get some of these. And a lot of them don't have lines, so it comes on to their movement. So we'll see how that plays out tonight. That's okay. I don't think you're gonna be here, camera guy. Although you should be. And, uh, we're getting ready for a shot right now. It's simple, easy, little establishing. We're happy. We got some tax dermy on the wall. That's a real wolf head right there. That is a real wolf head. So we're gonna sentenced to death the door. by the guillotine. Uh, <laughs> real wolves have a lot No, it's true. But uh, that's all I got for now. We're gonna get started soon because we're a little bit behind. Nothing new. Well, if you haven't been able to tell from not only my hair in the movie but in this behind the scenes, I kind of am obsessed with the whole mermaid-esque kind of thing and I'm 100% head over heels with mythology so just putting the sirens together in such kind of a horror aspect, putting that fear that you should have for the sirens kind of thing, they're not supposed to be those beautiful creatures where you know you're head over heels, you fall in love, little mermaid kind of stuff. They're supposed to have that fear aspect, they're supposed to have that kind of terror aspect because they're supposed to be luring you to your, your death. So in that, I fell in love with the Sirens script because it does show you that fear, that terror of Sirens. It's not just, you know, they sing and you fall in love. No, they, you, they sing and you die. There's no in between. <laughs> So I really did like the mythology of it. I liked the fact that it was kind of diving into my own ancestry and my own background. Uh, so I really did enjoy and love that script. So when I, when I was reading the script, I was just completely just brought into it. I couldn't see myself as anybody else but Sam. So I absolutely just needed to be in that, that script. I needed to bring that to life. So two guys need to do wires still for the okay. lights. They're not oh, wired up. Okay. And they need to be turned on and tested and proven to me that they work. To me. To me or anybody else. <laughs> that all three of them turn on and they're emitting lights. How'd your drone shots look? Oh, pretty good actually. That's awesome. Yeah. Back right Man. Well, I took some yesterday. You want to cross the river with that open? Mountain, so uh, we'll probably start with a little. I couldn't have asked for a better first time experience. Everyone on set was amazing you know there was periods where I was very nervous but it almost like kind of came natural also because you know I have known Ryan for a uh, for a long time and Dan uh, you uh, and so you guys just really made us feel comfortable and I would love to work with you guys again it was a really great experience considering that we were working with as you said amateur filmmakers I would say there was quite a measure of professionalism expertise that came through, shoots were prepared, locations were researched, the script was indeed delightful, and I found that there was a camaraderie, there was a good teamwork, good connections, communication that continued without even words, so that they knew what was going on and we felt extremely comfortable as participants, as actors, as well, amateur actors. Yeah, I was completely surprised getting that phone call. Uh, the producer, Hannah, executive producer, Hannah Craig, uh, called with such happiness and uh, excitement in her voice that uh, she's offering me the part. So I didn't really know what to say. I just, I was kind of in shock. You know? that, was, that was a good day. I was very happy. I wouldn't say I was nervous, 
The crew was absolutely fantastic to work with. They made sure I was comfortable, they made sure I was warm and dry because sirens are wet all the time. So, you know, filming at 2 a.m. you tend to get a little chilly, so they always made sure I had blankets. Um, the scenery was absolutely stunning where we were shooting and I just got to chill and swim with a bunch of new friends. It was pretty cool. I, I don't know, I think it was just, uh, it was something that I always kind of thought of doing. Uh, I went to White Pines, so they were a bit in theater, but I never got into it while I was in high school. And um, so that was kind of like a second chance to kind of experience being in a play and filmmaking and acting. Hello. What's going on? Not much. Swain fling scare for Roland. No pun intended. The thing I'm probably going to remember the most is actually not even the filming itself, not even being on camera, but it's the times when you're changing up the scenes and you're sitting there and you're just having an absolute riot with everyone because you're not just sitting there with a massive cast or a massive crew where you're forced to kind of pick and choose your group. You're all just one great big just collaboration of just imagination and just active minds. And I just, I really liked the fact that you could sit down and you can talk about all of your ideas and nobody's gonna kind of sit there and judge you because we're all in the same boat. We're all really excited about, get, about getting this film done. So we all kind of have that same high energy. So it was really cool to just kind of bounce off of each other and, you know, have a blast. <laughs> you have a sense of teamwork. It just clicked. The people who were chosen to be actors, who were chosen to have major parts, clicked extremely well and we knew from the start that we were able to bounce ideas, feelings, emotions, words, timing off each other and it just happened. But of course it just doesn't happen. That's something that the background people, the producers, the directors and everyone else in the film provides so that we feel comfortable doing that. Um, I'm usually cast as the sweet little innocent thing and so for me to play a murderous siren was completely different from anything I'd ever played before. Um, so that really appealed to me because I'm, like I said, I'm always cast in the same kind of type roles and so for somebody to see a different kind of potential in me, it was really cool. So then once we had our day one here, jumping in and everything's flying, you know, you know you're in the motion then. You know, you, you can feel the heart going a bit. You, know, you don't even have to be shooting the scene and, and your adrenaline is already rushing. So I can imagine for the directors and the producers, their adrenaline, what it must feel like and having to, to get everything, everyone where they want them and everything in place and the story proper. And the, you know, so that was uh, for the local group to being able to, to do that away from, from all the hustle bustle of, of LA or Toronto or Vancouver or Montreal or, and do it on their own. Jeez, you know, I, I, that must have been an experience on themselves. So to me, to be a part of that, that's what's even in my own head, it was, uh, that, was, that was a tough go. It was a lot of fight within myself. Everybody was really, really great and went out of their way to make sure I had what I needed, including vegetarian food, um, making sure I had somewhere warm to hang out if I needed to use the washroom, somebody was willing to drive me out of the woods into somebody's home. And it was a really great experience overall. Well, coming into the audition, um, going downstairs and having three people examining exactly what you're doing and you have a, a mark to hit, number one, that's something I didn't know anything about. You have a mark to hit, stand here, look this way, do that. You had the lighting, you had camera, you had questions, you had scripts to read. I thought, hmm, this isn't just your average amateur production. Then, later on, when you see the quality of the cameras and the preparation, and the sound people and the booms and, um, well, the microphones that looked like those um, tribbles in Star Trek coming at you. You think, okay, this is maybe not Hollywood money, but this is a production that definitely takes itself seriously and professionally.